Hello and welcome to uh, level 3 video, 5 minute video. Today we're going to talk about uh, through air drying. Through air drying does two things. It forces hot air through the sheet as part of the drying process and in doing so it creates a sort of an embossed structure to the sheet. It gives it a very three dimensional structure. So this is the typical uh, operation of a through air dryer. You see the uh, sort of double sided arrows there. That's because on some of the systems we have high velocity air in the hood and we push it through the sheet, collect it from the middle of the cylinder and recycle it. In other systems we push air through the middle, out through the sheet, collect it in the hood and then recycle it back through the cylinder. So both systems exist. What you'll see here is we have the moist web coming in and we have a, a TAD fabric that will sit on there and uh, we'll have a little look at those fabrics in a moment. So this is a close-up of that uh, TAD cylinder. This is what the surface of the cylinder looks like. Very high proportion of open area. The sheet will come along, it'll be in contact for about 270 degrees, three quarters of the circumference. So this surface is a 95% open area and the wrap angle is 270 degrees. So we bring the sheet on, um, round about sort of 75-80% moisture content. The moisture content at which the sheet uh, first comes into that cylinder is quite critical. If the moisture content is too high, then the sheet will be too weak and you will blow holes, big holes through the sheet. If the moisture content is too low, then the fibres won't be able to move and they won't distend into these holes and produce that three-dimensional effect that we're supposed to be doing. So essentially, this is a, an example I've used before in old egg box. This is essentially what we're doing to the sheet. We're creating a we're taking a flat surface and we're distending parts of it into these holes to create this very three-dimensional undulating structure that will collapse when you hold it and therefore your perception is that the sheet is soft. This is that uh, TAD fabric. Um, so the sheet rests on these TAD fabrics. You can see they've got these quite long um, spaces between the warp and weft fibres. So a summary of the, the through air dryer. It produces an embossing effect on the sheet. The drying cylinder itself has a total open area of about 95%. The wrap around it is around about 270 degrees. And finally uh, it's extremely high energy use, so it's a very expensive way of partially drying the sheet. Once it comes off there, of course, then it will go onto a Yankee cylinder where the drying will be finished and it will be crepped. Okay, well, thank you for listening to this uh, short video, and we look forward to seeing you on any of this social media. Bye bye.